And that's freaky to me too. Like all this, this healthy shit freaks me out. Like one of my friends, he drinks a lot of almond milk and I was telling him like, yo, I drank milk two weeks ago. It fucked me up. He's like, try almond milk. I'm like, why are you talking like that, bro? Your nickname is Spider, bro. Why are you talking like that? Just try almond milk. It'll fix you right up. I was confused. I'm who the fuck is squeezing almonds and making money off of this, right? You gotta try to eat healthier, man. I'm telling you, I gotta, it's, it's, it's cool to eat stuff, but it, like you eat that greasy shit and all that. Like I'm Mexican, I love spicy food. I can't eat spicy food anymore, man. I mean, I could, but I gotta be careful. Like when I go to the Mexican restaurant, I'm like the white dude now. I'm tasting the salsa and I'm asking, hey bro, how hot is that right there, bro? Before I didn't give a shit, I'm pouring that motherfucker right on my taco. And I was like, hey bro, is this good or is it hot, bro? And they get all mad, like, come on, bro, you're Mexican. I'm like, I just want to know, like, can I go to work tomorrow if I eat this shit? I got shit to do tomorrow, man. I can't eat spicy food anymore, man. Like, I love buffalo wings. I can't eat that shit anymore, man. You'd be sick as hell the next day. Look, all I'm saying to the guys, this is for the fellas, because we try to be tough, and we like eating buffalo wings during sports events, right? If you're over the age of 35, and you don't have baby wipes at home, don't eat buffalo wings. I learned the hard way, man. One of my cousins was like, hey man, come to my birthday party at Hooters. I was like, oh shit, I haven't been to Hooters like in 15 years. I'm gonna go tear up some wings and shit, right? So we go to Hooters, man. Like, any married people here? Any married people? You guys married? You already know what makes him sick, right? Right? You already like, babe, don't eat that. You're gonna be farting all night, right? You already know that, right? So we go to Hooters, and as soon as we sit down, my wife started talking shit to me. Don't get that hot shit, all right? You're not gonna let me sleep. You're gonna waste all the toilet paper. I just bought it. So I, I was like, why are you talking shit to me? So I tried to get macho. I'm like, don't be talking to me like that in front of my family and friends. I'm like, hey, bro, bring me 29 one ones. <laughs> yeah, I remember I used to like the 9 one ones 15 years ago, right? <laughs> so I, I ate the whole plate. I was tough. I'm like, fuck, I'm eat the whole plate. I ate the whole plate, right? But man, the next morning, five o'clock in the morning, man, I jumped out of bed like the house was on fire. <laughs> Scared the shit out the whole family. First, I jumped out of bed like, what the fuck, car 911? <laughs> Everybody's freaking out. My daughter comes in the room like, what's happening? What's happening? Like, go get the baby wipes. Go get the baby wipes. <laughs> She's like, we got a baby? I'm like, shut up and go get the baby wipes. <laughs> she comes in with the baby wipes. I'm like, put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. That's a little trick my dad taught me if you want to try it. <laughs> hey, don't get the baby wipes from the dollar store. Those burn. Those burn, man. I don't even think they're baby wipes. It's like Armorall or some shit like that. Man. 